So I got out my crowbar, pulled a Tonya Harding on my mother's face, and she was on the floor like that. And that's how I got my curfew extended by five minutes. Okay. So what have you been up to, Trent? Well, um, boys, I actually finally got myself a faithful. Hey, the Trent star! Trent, be aware that I'm going to be sending you quite a few invites about apps and stuff. Yeah. Doesn't mean I have to accept them, does it? True that. Oh, shh. Yada. With the time, we better be off. See you guys. See you, mate. See you, buddy. Guess what I did in ceramics today? I made myself a scat cat. What? Alrighty, time for a bit of Facebook. Yes. Coombray's Moonbray. Yep, that's it. Mm, yes, there we go. Ooh, two friend requests. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, Dirk the Turk. Legend. Then, of course, Joey Creed. One Mind Jolt Games invitation. Hmm, looks interesting. Let's see what we got here. Crazy Taxi. Should I do it? Yeah, let's give it a go. You do realise that your dinner's been on the table for the last five hours, don't ah, you? Oh boy. So I made chicken schnitzel for nothing, did I? Last time I checked, it was chicken sh- That's it! You're granted for two weeks! Doesn't stop me from playing crazy tactic. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. I've got a ring, Joey. <laughs> Hello? Knock, knock. Who's there? 70,826. <laughs> Mr. Trent Saban. Shut up. I know. Hey, I'm not one to brag about my success. In fact, 
I may want to enhance my winnings. What do you mean? I'd like to make a proposal, Trent. You have 25 hours, aka noon tomorrow, to beat my high score in Crazy Taxi. If you somehow succeed, I'll pay you five bucks. But if you are unable to beat the clock, you will owe me five bucks. What do you say, champ? Look, the sort of Facebook stuff, it ain't about <laughs> See that, Trent? I just performed a dramatization of you being represented by a chicken laying an egg filled with cowardliness. Oh. I thought you um, were taking a chicken. Hey! Don't mess with superiority. Now I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you in? Or has the word dignity escaped from your vocabulary? I'll do it. It's a Duke Nukem deal. That's what I'm talking about. And by the way, it's not Duke Nukem. It's Crazy Taxi, idiot! Hello. Oh! Good job. I have two tips for you. One, have a good night's sleep tonight, as tomorrow is going to be a big day. Two, take this mask with you while playing. My older brother, Manchu, was a neighborhood Mortal Kombat champion. And he died in the first 10 seconds of his real fight. This was his lucky mask, Trent. Hey, yeah, I, I think I'll pass it. Right? No, you take it. Oh, okay. Tonight, it seems as though the elderly have obtained a knack for video games. We now cross live to Kevin Wilde with one example of this unorthodox statement. Kevin, tell us about this spring chicken you have here. Well, Gwyneth, her name is Imelda Sabin, and while she works as a part time teacher, <laughs> Fish Biscuits. That's my grandma! At the age of 71, she's still able to find time in her day to rail to repetitive, repetitive, play a flash game on Facebook named Crazy Taxi. She's also been able to make <laughs> Look at she doing crazy taxi. Recently racking up one of the most astonishing scores of 138,000. <laughs> what? Well, that's certainly something to talk about. What's your opinion on this incredible leap forward for a generation with not much more to leap for? Let me just say this. In my 52 seconds of televised journalism, I have never seen anything like this. Back to you, Gwen. Well, all I can say is her grandchildren just got owned. That's it for the news tonight. I'm Gwyneth Silsby. Email day!